So Zishan, you're telling me the health secretary, Boris Johnson's right-hand little man, has been cheating on his wife, snogging who? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another episode of Small Touch of the World, joined with the handsome. <laughs> Ali Dawa, how's it going, bro? Yeah, good. Douche. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> He's been telling everybody social distance, Ali. Yes. Social distance, Ali. Yes. Social, social distance. Yeah, yeah. People. By coming into close contact with people Twice. in other <laughs> households, then that is how the virus spreads. I wouldn't suggest bending the rules. I would suggest sticking to them letter and spit. <laughs> He's been telling you people have been uh, meeting their mothers. They've been separated from their children. They've been separated from their grandmas and grandpas and following the government. Being fined. Being fined thousands of pounds, scared. Yeah? Whilst the very people that are inducing this fair, what are they doing? They're snogging people. Sorry? Yeah. Snogging, that's right. Like ice cream snog. There's no ice cream for there snog. There's uh, yogurt, uh, cold yogurt. God damn it, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> he was kissing yeah. his secretary. So he was cheating on his wife. All right. He was caught on camera kissing his secretary mm. whilst everybody else was social distancing and he was coming on doing his fake crying on on channel three when he was being interviewed just simple words there reacting it you're quite emotional about that well it's just uh, it's been you know it's been such a tough year for so many people and well uh, what's boris saying well boris uh, he he's apologized boris yeah? apologized and no uh <laughs> 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 the East Cooks, okay. Man Cooks apologized. Well, and sure. when <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, Boris hasn't apologized. There's yeah. no need for him to apologize. Yeah. But Boris is like, oh, okay, he's apologized and. I mean, I accept his apology. Downing Street accepts Matt Hancock's apology for breaching social distancing guidelines and considers the matter closed. I'm out of order. Apology accepted. We say nothing more about it. What could we say? Like, you know, there's, there's a lot of hypocrisy and double standards. And First, let's start with the political thing. What if yeah. it was Jeremy Corbyn that had done something oh like this? Oh my gosh, anti-Semitic. Anything that was going to have to do with it. <laughs> bro, they would have rinsed him. They would have finished him off, bro. They would, they would have buried him, you know. But now you see, this, just because, you know, he's his right-hand man or whatever it may be, look how they turn a blind this eye. This is the health like, secretary. This is the guy that's been health telling us. Health secretary, bro, yeah. bro forget everything. You're snogging. One of the ways of flipping contracting it is if you're close mouth to mouth. You're bloody snogging the virus out of the woman. You know, you literally, yeah, that's, that's what you're doing. And not only that. Cheating on his wife? <coughs> cheating on your wife? Yeah. Cheating on the country? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yes. Cheating on the people. The people. And somebody said, oh, his private life's got nothing to do with oh, Hang on a minute. Up. Yes, his private life would be nothing to do with everybody else. Yeah. But he's in a position where he has to tell everybody else about their private life. Yeah. He's exactly. telling us, don't see your mother, don't see this, don't see that, stay indoors, mm. social distance. So I'm sorry, you need to live mm. as an example. Yeah, exactly. Don't be a hypocrite. Yeah, exactly. Those of us who make these rules have got to stick by them and that's why I've got to resign. The politics nowadays has become a joke. Mm. Yeah, you got Boris Johnson leading this country. Mm. Yeah, he was uh, supported by Tommy Robinson and the likes, the far right. Mm. You've got, of, of course, we had the Trump, mm. who was also supported by the far right. You yeah. got Bolsonaro of Brazil, mm. also supported by the far right. Yeah. You've got Modi of India, yeah. also supported by the far right. There used to be a time, bro, where yeah. we, we used to tell our, our children, yeah. you know, if you do well, could be a uh, president, you could be prime minister. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I could be prime minister one day. <laughs> but today, bro, if you tell your child, hey, you can be president, they'd be offended. Yeah, yeah. It's become, like the leadership has yeah. become a thing to be offended yeah. about. What yeah. do you think, bro, as somebody that, you don't, that politics isn't your thing, like mm -hmm. you don't look into it that yeah. much, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah? So, That's why I'm not talking much. Yeah, so in terms of all this, bro, in mm. what I've said, what does that give impression to you? To somebody honest, with, 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 with a child, yeah. and somebody that has to now teach their child about these sorts of things, what would you mm. say? Well, to be honest, I'll go straight to like Islam in the context where I look at it and it's corruption in the land. And it's corruption from the higher up to the lower down. 
Because if you think about it, as an individual, this person, he can, he can not be a politician, he can be nothing. The fact that him cheating on his wife is a serious crime in Islam. Now, we understand in Islam that the, the punishment is for actual zina yeah, happening. There's a, yeah, there's a punishment. But, 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 but the thing is, I understand in this very instance, it's the kissing and the punishment wouldn't apply here because it's not actual intercourse. Uh, but if he's kissing and God knows what's happened. But anyways, the point is this, there's corruption from the ground level where one's faithfulness to his wife is in big question. And if somebody is doing that, you know, and Allah says, you know, for those that transgress, because Allah's told that, you know, you can marry once or twice, etc. Because, and this is why to protect the rights of the woman, because if you think about it, he's actually using and abusing this secretary as a side chick, and she has no absolute rights. You know, he's just using her for his desire. So you can see corruption on a ground level. And then you see corruption in a higher level where he is, like Allah says in the Quran, it is hateful in the sight of Allah, that you say something that you actually don't do. And that's exactly what's happened, corruption on a, should I say, should I say corporate level or in, in, in a state level where you are taking the people for a mug and you're saying, oh yeah, lockdown, etc. You get a fine, all this kind of nonsense, and you are snogging your secretary behind closed doors, you know. And then you see the corruption in a, in a in a higher state, like I said before, for Boris Johnson to because when a state government, imagine the, the Khalif of an Islamic rulership seeing his right hand man doing such a thing, I can, there has to be severe punishment because the people will lose trust. But this, then it shows you how corrupt the people must be to turn a blind eye. So you can see corruption from the yeah, ground true. level to the state level to the society as a whole, which they're like, oh, everybody cheats, oh, it happens. So I just see nothing but fitna in the land, and that's the times that we're living in, and it just shows me further, it's the times, end, end times. I saw this meme, and uh, the, the meme was saying, I think the secretary had COVID, and then somebody well, goes... Well, he's got it now. But No, but, but they go, why, why, why did uh, she have COVID? Well, because COVID means uh, you, lose, uh, <laughs> you lose your sense of taste. So, because clearly she's got no taste, that's why she's going, uh, going, okay. going after Matt Hancock. That makes perfect sense. But you know what's very interesting is, uh, even if you look at the statistics, a lot of these sorts of relationships do happen at work. Yes. Yeah, and we have to be realistic. Free mixing, yeah. opposite yeah, yeah, friends. Yeah, free mixing, friend. whether it's in family, some people say, no, she's your cousin. Yeah. Oh no, you should, that person's going to work, they're putting food on the table. Do you, look, these are excuses. Mm. Yeah, risk comes from Allah. And yes, eat less, sleep in less, live in less, as long as what you're doing is halal, because that little will have more barakah in it. If you're saying you're having these big corporate jobs, then say goodbye to your marriage. They're going to come late. Yes, you're going to have money. Yes, you're going to be living large. Yeah, yeah. But what's going to be the quality of your family, of your relationships? Exactly. Yeah, just like that screaming child. Yeah, That's what I was it, gives a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it gives an example. You know, at the end, it just shows you any time, anything that you do that goes against Allah's legislation, you see the corruption throughout the land. That's it. Brothers and sisters, till next time, do not forget to subscribe and like my channel. No, no. I, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs>